Hey there, folks. Welcome back to our tech channel where we help you to make your life easier with tech tips and tutorials. I'm your host, Zach. Today, we'll be looking at a simple yet useful task, how to automatically disable Wi-Fi when an Ethernet cable is connected to your computer. So, let's get started. Before we begin, let's understand why you might want to do this. When you connect your computer to Ethernet, it's generally to get a more stable and faster internet connection. Having Wi-Fi on at the same time can sometimes lead to network confusion on your computer, potentially impacting performance. So it's best to have only one connection active at a time. Now, let's get down to the steps. This tutorial will be covering the process on a Windows 11. The process is the same even on Windows 10. Search for View Network Connections in the search bar. Then click on it to open the network connections. This will open up a new window showing all your network connections. Here, locate your Wi-Fi connection. It's usually named something like Wi-Fi or Wireless Network Connection. Right-click on your Wi-Fi connection and click on Properties in the drop-down menu. In the Wi-Fi Properties window, click on the Configure button. Now, click on the Advanced tab in the new window that has just popped up. Here, you'll see a list of properties. Scroll down until you find a property called Disable Upon Wired Connect or something similar, depending on your Wi-Fi adapter's manufacturer. Click on this property. On the right-hand side, you will see a value drop-down. Click on it and select Enabled. Don't forget to click on OK to save your settings and close the window. Now, whenever you connect an Ethernet cable to your computer, your Wi-Fi should automatically disable. Once you remove the Ethernet cable, your Wi-Fi should turn back on. And there you have it, folks. A quick and easy way to automatically disable Wi-Fi when an Ethernet cable is connected. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more tech tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.